All right, guys, so here we go. Here is the RK61 keyboard. It is a Bluetooth 2.4 gigahertz and wired. So it does have three modes. All right, so here we go. Let's crack this open. All right, so you get the keyboard, which it all fell out of that bag. And you get nice thick user's manual. Not too bad. Then you get a aviator cable for USB-C. So if you want to like connect it and you don't have a cable available, you can use that. It's on the flimsier side, but hey, for the price of this keyboard, you can't even complain that you're at least getting somewhat of a premium cable. Keycap puller and switch puller. And you get some switches and that's all you get for the what comes in box all right so we're gonna look at the keyboard now so here's the keyboard and there it is standard it does, it's a 60% keyboard. It has shine through keycaps. I'm assuming these are ABS plastic, but I'm not sure. I didn't really look into it. All right, so we're gonna plug it in so you guys can see what the lighting looks like. And there it goes. See what I mean? It's a shine through. So if you're into that kind of thing, these keycaps will be more than enough to be bluntly honest. Personally, it's just not my thing. So we're going to do a quick sound test on this keyboard so you know what it looks sounds like stock. You know, if you want to just go ahead and use it stock, this will give you an idea of what it sounds like and all that kind of thing. And I'm just going to mod it because I like doing that kind of thing. But all right, here it goes. There it is. That's what it sounds like stock out of the box. It's not terrible. Personally, not my cup of tea, but I don't think it's terrible. Also, the, with the keycaps, with the shine through and all that, it does show where all the function keys are. So we're like, you got like, you want to like change the lighting and stuff like that. You get function and that key right there or that kind of thing. Also, it shows the effort on the top, if you can see it. Then there's a page up, page down, and all that. It shows you where all the keys actually play into the keyboard. There showing some of the features if you want to change it through the keyboard there is a software you can use i do know that there have been some issues with some software and it having viruses so it is very user beware so you know like i'm still showing here there's shows all the keys and all the functions if you just want to if you want to use those for that purpose if not you could always go online and look up pictures of what that can show you a picture of it. All right, so we're gonna unplug this and we're gonna get started here. So here we go. We're gonna take off the keycaps and then we're gonna take off switches. 
So there's all the keycaps off. And all the switches are gone. That is a stainless steel plate, but that's what the keyboard looks like. These are north facing lights. So we're gonna take off all these screws in the back here. There's four of them holding the top of the, the plate and all that onto the case. There you go. I don't know, my camera had a hard time focusing during this video, I don't get it. It's kind of annoying. Yeah, like I said earlier, this has 2.4 gigahertz and Bluetooth and it can go wired. Uh, and there, my stupidity, I forgot that that was connected. Be careful doing that kind of thing because you could end up tearing the wires and stuff. And they are kind of frail. It has this foam at the bottom. It's very thin. I don't like it. Not my thing. So we're going to take off the cable right now. All right, so we got that off. There's the battery. It's not a bad battery. It has an okay battery life. I think I've ran it about maybe a day, day and a half. No issues, about two days, but it just depends on your usage too. Like I will be using the foam that's in between there. And then I'm gonna, then I'm gonna do a tape mod in the back. And then in the case, we're going to do something new that I haven't done yet. So we'll see it works out. All right. Yeah, I was going to do the tape mod first here. And then we'll move on to the case. So I'm going to add PE foam into it because I found some. I'm excited because I like using PE foam. So we're going to do that between the foam and the plate and the PCB. So it'll have an extra like dampening material in there. Yeah, at this point, we're just taking off all the screws that come that keep the plate and the uh, PCB together. So you can tell. I will say one thing, even though these the stabilizers are pre-lubed, they are not messy, at least on my PCB. It did not have like giant globs of lube everywhere, which I can appreciate that. Royal Kludge did really well on that front. So yeah. At this point, I decided we're gonna mod the stabilizers because those are kind of old school and we're gonna try to like get rid of some of the legs and all that kind of thing. So here we, we're going to take the stabilizers and mod them. This video ended up being a lot more than I was expecting to off the bat. I thought I was just going to do the case mod, a tape mod, put it all back together, change switches, change keycaps, but no. So at this point we're taking out the stabilizers and I did try saving as much of the pre-lube lube in there but here is what i'm talking about the legs but the legs it has those extra bits and they're not sitting flat straight they're kind of like have that extra bounce that honestly i don't like i don't need it so we're gonna get rid of those I was saying earlier, we're going to try to keep some of that pre-lube. Hopefully it doesn't mess me up. All right. So 
So here's what the end product will look like with the stabilizers. So there it is. We cut them down. And I'm trying to just remove some of the clackiness from it instead of keeping it more of a thock. So there's like a stabilizer tape mod, which I know it's an old style one, but you can still use it and do it. I haven't tried it myself, but it just seems like a lot more work that I just don't want to do. It's just me being blunt. Sorry. And there we got the stabilizer all put together. I already did the rest of them in that skip. So you can see how like they're a lot more flat and they will be a lot less in the way. So it lays more flat with the stabilizing, uh, with the stabilizer housing and all that kind of thing. All right, so we got them all installed. Got it all modded out. This comes with like little foam pieces around the space bar. Helps with the sound dampening, which is really nice. So we got the foam. We're gonna do the P foam now. Then we're gonna put the foam in between, the PE foam in between the case foam that came with it, the plate, and then the PCB will be behind all that. And normally I like to pre-cut it to size and stuff, but with this one, I'm gonna try to see if I could cut it along the edges and stuff and you'll see what I mean right now. So we're gonna screw, we're gonna put the screws back on the back there, get those on. So yeah, this, this screwdriver is supposed to be electric and somehow I messed it up. If anybody knows how to fix these to where I could like actually use it properly, let me know. But now if I put too much pressure, it won't let me cut into it or won't let me use it to turn. It's really weird, I don't like it. All right, so here goes the cutting of the PE foam. Didn't come out as clean as I would have liked it, but in the end, I mean, once you put it into the keyboard, as long as like it's not sticking out everywhere, you're, it'll be fine, you won't even notice it. Like unless you're OCD, you just won't let you like live in it. But yeah, you know, it's more of a personal preference thing. If you want to pre-cut it, pre-cut it. Honestly, whatever works for you, works for you. All right, so now we're going to start the tape mod. And I am trying to like clear out the spacings for the screws on the back of the case. Then I'm also working around like where some of like the the USB port is at and where the um, the switches are for the turning on and turning off and stuff underneath the, the keyboard. So here here's the We got it all set up. Honestly, I like how much weightiness this got just from all this. I know a lot of it is a stainless steel plate, but it does have some good weightiness compared to have felt before we got all started. Right. So, and here's where so here's the bottom of the we're going to travel into new territory. And this is where we're going to do something new. We're going to be doing some kill mat. I have not done the kill mat. I really been wanting to try this for a while and I wanted to see how this would turn out. Hopefully it goes really well. Not I'm just excited to use the kill mat. Yeah, this was like the most affordable pack I could get. Uh, I'll put a link down below for it. 
if you want to buy more that's really a you call but for now i just decided it was just like something small because i didn't know if i was gonna like this and how much i was gonna like it and i'm trying to get the holes kind of done up for the switches at the bottom so that way i'm not i'm not having like issues later which it was kind of like hard because then you had to match up where you did the holes and stuff and all that so do be aware when you're doing something like that how it will fit and where it's gonna fit you can tell i did do a lot of futzing around with it portion in now we're doing the last bit um on this part i will ask uh all right so we got all the kill map put in place i'm not gonna put anything in the battery if for some reason it bothers me not putting something over the battery if you guys know if it's safe or not let me know i am curious whether it affects the sound and all that not too much so i'll give you that much right now as a spoiler um but it's one of those things of like i don't know just i don't feel safe putting the kill mat over that but if you guys can let me know if it is or not i'd be more than thankful on that front because you know I, it's my first time trying it so now we're screwing everything back up say with how thick it was and with all the stuff in there it was kind of hard to like get the screws in properly all right so now we're gonna do the switches we're gonna do some echo purple purples there it is so that's what the jelly purples we're liking that we're gonna do these xvx PBT keycaps. These are the purple gradients. Trying to get that into camera was not easy. But these are our purple gradient. And they are nice. I've been wanting to use these for a while and I haven't had a good excuse. Alright, so there we go. Get our keycaps on. And the keycap set does come, like it comes with enough keycaps to do 100% keyboard, uh, a TKL, a 65, or a 60. I, not exactly for a 40, but even then, I mean, it, it's usable. said earlier i'm not a fan of shine throughs i just like how this looks a lot better i'm gonna change the color to something that's purple so it matches with the keycaps so there you go mm -hmm. i'm liking that i'm liking it now we're gonna do the sound test and show you how it goes and then we're done with the video uh if you guys have any more questions or answers for me let me know here's the sound test Thank you. 